the marketing industry says that it should be up to parents and parents should just say no. But I think it's naive or disingenuous to think that one family in isolation can combat an industry spending billions of dollars and working with child psychologists and incredibly sophisticated technology to create messages that are irresistible to children. That junk food and fast food are being marketed to children is completely ludicrous. I mean, why would we want to subject children to advertisements telling them to eat things that aren't good for them? The last thing parents need is, is some company, you know, encouraging children or persuading children to nag. It's very important that there is a, a push in Brazil and actually in other countries around the world to stop the marketing of junk food to children. But I also think that it's important to understand that if we really think about what's best for children, really there should be no food marketing to kids because what food marketing does is train kids to choose food for based on what the package looks like or who's on the uh, on the package or what character is supporting it or whether or not they get some kind of reward or something for buying the food what we want is to build a healthy relationship with food we want children to develop a healthy way of, of interacting with food and of choosing food and so any kind of food marketing to children actually undermines that what parents and children are facing today that has never happened before in history is the, conver the convergence of unregulated or poorly regulated advertising and marketing aimed at children and also ubiquitous miniaturized screen media. And so that combination is a disaster for children. Parents have a responsibility for their, for their children, they absolutely do, but they need help. And they need help, help from the government to prevent companies from, from exploiting children and from targeting them with messages that basically undermine parents' best efforts. The toys that, that are advertised the most and that advertise well in commercials are toys that are embedded with computer chips or they're based on media characters. But those aren't the toys that really benefit children and, and, and encourage their creative play. The best toys are 90% child and only 10% toys. The best selling toys are usually 99% toy and only 1% child and that all a child has to do is, is press a button. In order to play creatively, children need time, they need space, they need silence, and they need inspiration. Those are, the, those are what children need. And, and today, children are bombarded with so much noise from advertising and from, from screens and from toys that, that talk and all that kind of thing that they, they're not getting those things. And, and this is the first time in history where we can't count on the fact that when children have leisure time, they're playing either engaged in active or creative play. We can't count on that happening anymore. These days, the most common leisure time for activity for children around the world is watching television. So for the first time, parents have to make a conscious effort to provide the time and the space and the silence and the tools for creative play. I think it's amazing that, that, that companies are being fined for egregious marketing to children. And I really believe that Brazil is leading the way now in advo advocacy to stop um, to st stop advertising and marketing that targets children.